Um, if you've watched videos on here before, you might have seen me mention the Viking Knit on here. Um, I just did a video for Mina's Apothecary, or Wayward Mina. I keep calling that channel Mina's Apothecary for some reason. Um, Wayward Mina. Um, I was explaining uh, Viking Knit, and I would prefer that you go on this other video that I made, to all the other two videos I think that are on here, to learn about Viking Knit, because I don't do like how-to tutorials on it, because it'd be too hard, because you can't see the little intricate weaves and everything with the camera I have, the quality, but um, uh, <laughs> but I want to share with you what I'm making right now. I already made and listed this. This is a double weave. All the wire I use is always 26 gauge copper wire, but a lot of them are permanently colored. So if it looks silver, it's not. <laughs> it's, uh, it's permanently colored. Uh, I like the copper and the permanently colored copper silver color because when you loop it and you're making it, it doesn't scratch. Because the ones like the screen one I just made, I just listed this right now on Etsy, um, and I'm about to list a blue one as well. This part can scratch, especially when I'm doing the weave and pulling through. Because you attach, like, you'll have it like this. Here, I'll show you on this one. You'll have it here. Here, I'm making a purple one. And you'll attach another piece of metal here, and it can scratch. The ends right here can scratch the other pieces. And usually, I try to take care of it so it doesn't, but sometimes it does happen. So, scratch pieces of the um, purple off, and then you'll be able to see the copper underneath. Usually, when I pull it through the draw plate, it kind of hides it. Because you're doing all these little, little tiny loops, so it kind of, like, folds it in. But um, I do sell them for less because they're imperfect like that. And also because I can only do a single weave on them to make sure that I don't pull off any more copper. Because usually if this one, this one doesn't scratch. Unless you like take something like this and start gnawing at it. And then you'll see the copper on the inside. The regular copper just stays copper. I always use a silver plated or silver end caps and clasps. Just because um, I would prefer I try to use just the... Uh, silver or try to use the that silver nickel stuff because sometimes the silver plated over the years can wear off but um if you're gonna wearing it every single day for years the green's gonna come off anyway i mean I've, i have one that i made and i wear it um as i wear it as a bracelet and if i had scratch on stuff and whatnot and it's not too bad or anything it looks good still it's only if i like really knock it into something that the uh copper will come off a little bit it's usually not like a full scrape or anything it'll just be a tiny bit of it because it's on there pretty well um but uh so if it takes a lot to scratch it off then it's not going to wear off too easily you know on your neck or anything uh so you'll be able to wear it for years so um it's a good investment i sell mine for a lot cheaper than the other people on etsy do or most of them at least i haven't checked out every single or i've been able to find every single seller of them because people don't tag right and whatnot it's hard to find their stores um but some people sell like a bracelet it'll only be like this much viking knit and then like some beads that I know don't cost like fifty dollars, and I'll charge like a hundred dollars for it, sixty bucks, something ridiculous. And I've seen like Brit necklaces are plain, like one hundred and sixty dollars, and that's for the copper. And I know some people will use silver and gold also. You can get the wires for those. I can't afford it really right now, and I like working with the copper because of its healing properties and everything. Um, and also, I don't know. I feel like it's a more of an authentic material to use for this. Um, I have my train of thought is word. Okay, so, and then they're priced ridiculously because the copper is not too bad of an expensive material. It's the time consuming effort that you put into it and all the love and work that you're doing into it that makes it cost so much. I usually get like a, this is usually about 30 yards. You can get these at some craft stores. And to weave 30 yards, it used to take me a week when I first started. And I would sit there every day and work on it. And it now it takes me usually three days to do all of it. Um, I was working, I used to do the whole thing and then like, cut it to, sh to length. Now I've just been cutting it, like if I want to, um, I'll cut it to length on here, or I'll weave it to length on here and then I'll see how much I'm going to pull it through the draw plate, see which one I'm going to pull it through, and then I'll know how much I'm going to have afterwards, because there are different sizes. Usually for the sink, for those color ones, they're going to be uh, 3 16 or 7 32s. <laughs> I didn't make this, my grandpa made it. Um, so I'm kind of, I'm not, not good at the measurements here. Um, but, um, so that I don't scrape it if I pull it too thin. Uh, usually when I do single weave on the permanently colored, or the silver colored copper and the regular copper, I can do it nice and tight. And I can also do double weave, which is really pretty. As you saw with this one, you can't even like really, really see through it or anything. It's just, it's lovely, I think. Uh, whereas this one, it's a little bit bigger. So it's, uh, you can see through it and everything. It's still pretty, but, um. I know some people don't want like this big of a necklace on them, or that thick, I mean. And I'm about to list this blue one as well. And I like the little end caps, some people don't use them. And then it 
it looks strange because you'll see like all the little loops at the end and uh, then I'll have the purple one up soon. I started working on that about two days ago, but I was doing some other things so I haven't finished yet. And then after purple, I'll start on red. So soon I'll have a bunch of colors on there. And if you want a custom order, like if you want a bracelet or something or a certain color, I can maybe work with you. Um, my schedule sometimes is wacky, so it would take possibly like two weeks to make it. So um, don't, I'm not leaving any promises. But if you do look, are looking for color or whatnot, specific color, specific length, I can try and work with you on that. And, um, yeah, so, uh, one of the things I want to talk about Viking Knit is that, here, I wrote this down because I got to check it out. Um, copper is humanity's first metal and has been known to be magically good for being a good conductor of energy, to be used as an amplifier of thoughts and sending psychic messages, communication, in healing spells and rituals, and more. So that's just the magical part if you're interested in the spiritual aspect of copper. If you're not, and you're interested in, um, well, there's more to this, the healing aspects of copper. Is uh, it's good for healing or alleviating the pain of arthritis and room. I always say this wrong, but if you watch my videos, you know I say everything wrong. Rheumatic <laughs> diseases, as well as detoxification, circulation, increased in energy, etc. So I really like that because then I uh, I could work with some of those <laughs> healing aspects, um, and also um, these are things. These Viking knits are good for like multitude of people. Some, especially for people in the SCA who are Norse, who have like a Norse persona or like to dress Norse. Um, because it's so comfortable. Yeah, I think that's one of the reasons most people dress in Norse outfits. Comfort. And my necklaces are unisex, unless it has a specific pendant that might be considered feminine. Um, and my bracelets tend to be for females because they're smaller. I don't have a male to measure his wrist around here, so I haven't really made one for him. Mine's seven. I got a big wrist. I'm a big lady. So usually I try to make them between six and a half inches and seven. Um, but I could try. I don't know how much bigger a man's wrist would be. It depends on the man, I guess. I could try and make some that are larger, maybe like eight inches, perhaps. But um, that's if somebody shows interest. Most of the people time the people buying Viking it from me are women. So even for so you, they're good for Norse persona or people who are in the essay, so medieval dressing people. Um, good for Odin, true heathens, different people who are into or follow a northern path, because this is another good way to connect with an, a craft used by these people that you're following their religion of sorts especially like a reconstructionist or something. Um, I think it's really cool to be using something because I am a Norse influence animist and I think it's cool to wear these during ritual and whatnot or just like to hang pendants or whatnot off of. I know I'm selling with a Thor's hammer right now to uh, show another form of connection to a path that was practiced by maybe your ancestors or by the people you're trying to, I don't know, em emulate is the right word. Um, and then also, some of them can be just plain pretty. So a lot of people like that. I know most people that are selling on Etsy are not selling to an SCA crowd, are not selling to a pagan crowd. They're selling to uh, normal men and women who may be Christian or something else and um, have no idea that the Vikings really use this craft. They just probably assume that Viking is just a term uh, that somebody pulled out of their ass or something. I mean, out of their, their butt. Sorry, I don't mean to cuss. <laughs> um, but yeah. So uh, thank you for watching this video. I know it was a bit long, but um, I wanted to share what I'm working on. <laughs> and also to give another description of things and to show people. Because sometimes the descriptions on Etsy are a little too long for people to read. So I try to shorten them and then I can't really give a round perfect answer for what I'm working on and what they're looking at. So uh, I think that video has helped with that. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching.